I am Justin McDonald. I uh, am a senior English teacher here at Fountain Hills High School, uh, and I have the great fortune to teach uh, our, our our district's first Shakespeare class. Um, I don't don't consider myself uh, the local authority or a genius or anything, but I do. Um, I am a fan of the of the Bard. You would say. Uh, I was quite honored when the students actually approached me and asked for uh, me to create this, this course uh, to study solely, solely Shakespeare. Um, and so when I created this course, uh, really I feel like I got, I got the opportunity to, to select the best students. Uh, and, and these kids, I, I taught most of them when they were younger, uh, freshmen, and I just feel that uh, they are some of the most mature. I am so hard to destroy everything they've come to make. <laughs> Will blot out the sun. Yes, and then we've got Anne. Now Anne is actually married to Edward, who is the son of Edward the Fourth. And yes. Where's Shakespeare? The, Shakespeare is not even born yet. What? Yeah. These are yeah. This is the uh, Plantagenet family. But I thought Henry the Fifth is his dad. <coughs> He wrote Henry V. Henry V was the king of England during the Hundred Years' War, Agincourt, Battle. Yeah. Okay. Why are we learning about this? Macdee is a man I respect, yet I find his postulations to be inadequate. If you I mean, don't, why would you try to teach theater? I don't know. Um. Because we're reading Henry V and Richard III, and and there's Henry V. Here's Henry IV. We got to read that. But then there's Henry V, and then Richard III comes in afterwards. And if you don't understand all this stuff, you're not going to understand the, the context of the play. The only thing that people are going to enjoy in this class is Henry V is the violence. Insightful. Some of the details of that trip. Now, I have a detail to add. Gordon Brown will not say the word terrorist. He's the communist imperialist leader of England. He's a socialist democrat. You're a socialist democrat. Just because your butt-faced Republican friends won't say the word terrorist. That's not, okay, listen. Hey, 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 let's solve this. You need a battle. Battle. He no. Late. You shot late. Default. Replay. Battle. You shot late again. You win my default. This is not justice. Be, be quiet. We saved the English from Hitler, so I don't, I don't really understand why their culture doesn't just come to us. Well-behaved you know, group of group of young people um, that, that 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 a teacher could possibly have, and I'm just so so grateful that I get the opportunity to teach these young minds. Uh, they're, they're all, they're, what I love about it is they're just as just as passionate and, and excited about about Shakespeare and his works uh, as I am. Sometimes I catch them speaking in iambic pentameter. Um, and so to take to have this opportunity to take this trip with these students is going to be a once in a once in a lifetime opportunity, and I just know that they're all uh, looking so forward to to seeing the Tower of London and and seeing uh, the River Avon and, uh, and 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 seeing Poets' Corner in Westminster Abbey. I just know they're all so excited about this cultural uh, enriching experience that they're going to have. Um, so I really look forward to this year to this class, and I think this is going to be just an amazing trip, and I consider myself a a lucky man.